Thank you. Sitting there and listening to all the speeches um, get my mind rolling. Platform guests, special guests, uh, Ms. Diane Crocker, parents, graduates, and guests from Canada and all overseas. Welcome to our graduation ceremony. You know, I was listening to uh, Samet's speech and he said, be proud. And I'm very proud to stand in front of you today here to see so many graduates achieving their dreams. Some of them I met at education fairs or some families uh, visitations overseas or when they arrive with their parents. And now they're graduating and they're going on to their post-secondary educations. And, you know, yes, I founded the school, but I have to thank the admission team, the liaison team in their recruitment effort in the selection of students. I have to thank the academic department to help the student to go through the time that they are spending at Columbia International College. It is not easy to manage a large number of students living on campus, living in our residence. But if you heard from Ms. Diane Crocker's story, that she ran into this student on campus, she took her time and she go out of her way to help the student. And it, add, um, it ended up being a very happy ending. And it is the same at Columbia International College. We try very hard to provide a type of service that will help the student to be successful. We wanted to minimize failure, even though, as you heard from Mr. Saunders, that don't be afraid of failures. I failed in the past. I pick it up, I continue, and I would improve. So this is what we have today, you know, a very successful school um, in Hamilton. And we have to help our students to go through the experience, and it's an educational experience, it's a learning experience. And not everyone is smooth sailing from day one, from the time they're admitted to Columbia to the time they graduate. Sometimes they bump into the wall a couple of times, sometimes they sail straight, and sometimes they go backward. They have to reach a goal, but we as school administrators, we as teachers, we're here to help them. And of course, our business operation are there to help every student that is most of the support service, back office service, you know, meal service, security service, everything they need to stay focused and succeed in their studying. To parents, the most important thing is safety. And we take that as a very strong hint, a very strong indicator from the parents, and we do it. And today, I have to tell you that if you walked in, if you didn't see Mr. Michael Burns, our security director, you have missed a lot. He was like, the secret service to Trump. Well, that's the closest, you know, energy I wanted to draw, you know. But he was there to ensure all the guests, you know, everybody arrived safely um, into our venue. And this is, this is important. To me, as a school founder, you know, I have 
I have visions. I have missions. And it's my conviction to carry this school, to steer this school, and to point them in the right direction. And in 2016, you know, my mission is to deliver peace of mind for parents and success for students. Today, you see the success for our students. For the past years, and many of them, the valedictorian and the world of thanks, they were, they were students that spent a few years at Columbia and we were careful in delivering peace of mind for parents. So that is the process and today is the end results. And I'm very proud to stand here in front of you to represent the school to the parents who entrust their children to us. When you made the decision to send your children to Columbia International College, you probably made that decision 8,000 to 10,000 miles away. You made the right decision. And today, you can see for yourself. So I'm very proud of the Columbia Total Care team. I'm very proud of the admission and liaison team, the academic team, the business operations team. And it is a great experience for me as a school administrator, and I hope it is equally a good experience for you graduates and also for all the parents. So thank you very much uh, for joining Columbia and for experiencing our total care education system. Thank you. Mr. Lawless, you make me feel good. <laughs> and uh, today, I wanted to make a, uh, a special tribute to Ms. Diane Crocker, who is the uh, registrar and, um, uh, at the uh, University of Toronto, uh, Mr. Sauger. When I met uh, Ms. Diane Crocker, she knew everything she wanted to know about Columbia International College. She is a number person. She may have told me that she studied physics before, but I totally forgotten about it. And no wonder, every time I see her, she starts with numbers. And today is no different than all the meetings that we had. We have 391 students at UTM study. She didn't say about 400, 391. And at one meeting, she pulled out her spreadsheet and she said, oh, looking at the numbers, the Columbia students graduate at a faster rate than our average student. Everything to her is, is, is evidence, quantitative evidence and numbers. It's very important to her. And she has been particularly supportive of Columbia International College and helped us to start the partnership with University of Toronto. And it was her effort and her, her support that created the first scholarship, uh, 10 scholarships from University of Toronto in 2013. So thank you very much, Diane. Thank you. And this year is her retirement year and Knowing uh, Ms. Crocker, it won't be, you know, uh, the end of her working life. And she is just switching gears, she's just changing. I can't see her sitting still for a very long time. She has to find the numbers and work with them. And today, I would like to uh, present her a little uh, gift 
and, and a token appreciation for her dedication and her friendship and her support to Columbia International College.